I'm Bert from workingwithbert.com and in this video let's learn how to quickly add or install another domain to your hosting account. There are many reasons why you would want to use or want a different domain name other than your primary domain. From deciding to build a totally different website that offers other products and services to buying a domain name that's relevant to your primary domain and just pointing that domain to your primary website. With your Working With Burt hosting located at bestwebhostingfast.com, you're entitled to have unlimited add-on domains under your primary domain name, and you can conveniently buy and manage all of your hosting in one central place. So let's learn how to install and add an add-on domain now. So let's log in to your bestwebhostingfast.com account. Once there, simply go to your product and services area. Here you can see your hosting packages and we'll just click view details. When we scroll down, here we can easily log into the control panel. Now that you're in your cPanel, there's a whole host of things that you can do to manage your website and your hosting. But we'll just scroll down and we'll go into the domains area. Here at the domains area, click on add on domains. Here we can type in the domain that we want to add into our primary domain. Now it's important to note that when you do type it in, don't type anything like the www or the http. Just type in the domain itself. So there it is and for this example we're going to use buildmyfirstwebsite.org. Once it's in there you get a green check mark and then you can just click anywhere outside it'll pre-populate the next two fields and then it's time to choose a password. In most cases you won't need this password but it's always good to document it and save it somewhere safe anyway. So let's use the password generator. Here we'll just use this password it's good and safe and I'll tick mark I've copied this password to a safe place and we'll use that. Now simply go add domain. Your cPanel goes to work and is now adding that domain. As you can see, you now have a green highlight here that says that add-on domain has been created. So now we'll go back. We scroll down and now you can see your add-on domain is here along with any others that you may have already added to your account. So there it is and now you can actually manage that redirection if you're wanting to simply point that to a relevant website or now you can install the WordPress platform if you're going to build a new website. It's that simple to actually add on a domain. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.